Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on a Redis database. So in this tutorial we are going to see about what is actually Redis database. So let's see some of the characteristic of Redis database, why it is helpful, where it is helpful and how it is accomplished some of the useful tasks in our web application or either standalone desktop application. So first of all it's a in-memory database. So I'll write in-memory database so it just stores everything in a in memory but there is a functionality of persistent storage also possible it is one of the very good alternative of the mam catch but mam catch just provides a key value kind of storage redis provides a much more than a mam catch like mam catch functionality plus lot of different uh, known data structure also implemented it is one of the open source software so you can use for your commercial purpose also you can use it freely it is being supported by vmware it's a kind of key value sh pair storage but more than that it just supports it just not support the key value kind of storage in case of value it has a lot of other different data types also that we are going to see into future in one by one lecture like uh, it just supports list storage based on some key or even a set sorted set plus it you store hash also all operation most of the time you can perform in constant time operation so that is a one of the very good useful functionality all operations are the atomic operation now what do you mean by atomic operation suppose for some keys or some variable two different clients are trying to update at the same time it will just allow one client to update it at a second client will immediately get the updated on updated value so it is running on a single thread application it has a messaging application functionality also like a publishers and a subscriber functionality so you can use like a publisher and subscriber kind of functionality also for the messaging there is a tons of libraries available client libraries like uh, it is all famous programming language like a uh, python c c++ uh, java lua haskell for everyone uh, php even uh, ruby perl all language has a client library available to connect with the redis data set so these are all some of the very useful uh, things about the f redis now where we can use this redis it's a in memory storage so ma majority time uh, this redis data set is used as a secondary data set because we have already available oracle or your mysql microsoft sql servers so these are all uh, used for a very heavy storage uh, application but this redis is used mostly as a secondary storage now what does mean by secondary storage secondary storage like your main database will be like any other uh, uh, relational database like mysql or even oracle kind of thing but in case uh, suppose you want to store very short lived data in your application like a uh, session storage even a uh, web hit uh, count kind of uh, storage which are the users are currently logged in based on the different session so those thing which keep getting updated continuously and it is going to span for a few uh, minutes or a few hours then only this uh, redis in memory kind of data set is very helpful let's take one uh, hypothetical or even uh, this is a real example that facebook has already a uh, one more than 1 billion user 
let's take uh, 1 billion fb users out of that let's see let's take only 10 persons are active so we have a hundred million active user and let's assume that Facebook is also using this kind of in-memory database so for this hundred million users minimum profile informations its session information are immediately stored in this kind of in memory database like either memcache or even a redis but redis is giving much more functionality than a memcache it's supposed much more a data type so redis is going to become a very useful because of its heavy uh, read and write kind of uh, operation whenever we require to perform so that's it for this lecture friends uh, thank you guys for the watching uh, I hope you enjoy listening this video in a future lecture we are going to see about how you can install this redis and how you can perform those uh, key value storage kind of operation on the top of uh, redis server and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do do subscribe it and support my channel thank you